to the presentation team is coming up here now. We have Marcelo Phillips, Joshua Bernard, Caleb Boyce, Quincy Thomas, Jordan Bernard, Josiah Simmons, Jabali Reddy, Presentation Gary College and Fatima College. Both teams now lining up. And we will just wait on the officials to the dignitaries to come and meet the teams. And uh, I think there's a little bit of a communication problem, James, um, because the, the dignitaries are on the far side and the teams are facing us here in the uncovered stand. Oh boy, what a way to start. So, would the dignitaries move over to here to meet the teams? I'm not sure what is going to happen. But uh, the teams there, the official, Cecil Hines is the referee, Roshan Baliram, Adam Mohammed are the assistants, and Charlie's foot is the fourth official. So, Cecil Hines, very experienced, of course, FIFA referee. Having the whistle here today, and uh, should be very, very interesting encounter between Fatima College, the league champions of last year. There is the presentation college. Uh, there is, sorry, that is the Fatima College lineup. And, uh, so we just awaiting the of dignitaries to come onto the field to meet the teams. And, and they are going to await the dignitaries to come on. So here comes the officials to meet the teams led by the president, Rui Gonzalez. So President Mariri Gonzalez with the We'll be meeting the teams. Dr. Ishmael Khan, the chairman of NGC, is there. Then there is Jameson Reeks, the third vice president of the TTFA. And Kerry Gibbons. We know him very well, of course, uh, of Sportsmax, the general manager. So here are the officials starting to meet the teams. Led by the president, Mareri Gonzalez. We recognize all our sponsors here with the second division of football team again this season. The National, National Gas, Gas Company. We see the, the Shell Company, company on board. Representative from Shell. Yes, we have. Once again, our sponsors, we can say thank you for making the dream. Mr. Sasha Sain, the general manager um, corporate investment. So all the sponsors are here and meeting the various teams. And then, of course, we have the third vice president of the TTFA. And bringing up the rear, Mr. Kerry Gibbons. You see the Meeting the Fatima team now. Fatima, of course, as I said, league winners, presentation intercall winners. So almost, uh, so has the correct the name of this tournament, the NGC Super Cup. And, uh, should be a very interesting encounter. As, I, as we were saying, James, before, and, and Brent, we were saying before, we'll just uh, stop here and pause for the playing of the national anthem.
So the national anthem of Trinidad and Tobago, and uh, we should be getting the game started shortly. But before we start the game, uh, James, uh, an interesting encounter, because as we were saying before the, the start, the, these teams, uh, the first time we're seeing them, some new players coming in, it's always difficult to assess uh, teams of, of that nature. Yeah, some of these boys might have been out of school over a week ago. For some of us, the viewers, well, it's the first day at school. Lunch kits in hand, banana to boot, and football. Fatima College and Presentation College. This is the official first day of school for them. It certainly is, and uh, of course, uh, we are ably, of course, assisted by very experienced officials that uh, as part of today's proceedings. But yeah, it really does come down to how well the, the coaches uh, instruction and Yep, there is the presentation college lineup. Lee, Cooper, Elliot, Young, Clement, Jones, Bain, Jacob, Fonset, Braffwaite, and Dubé. The coach, of course, is Sean Cooper. Yeah, when you look at that team, not many names that you saw last year. Cody Cooper, he certainly will be instrumental. Darrell Young as well, one of the experienced campaigners. After that, well, lots of newcomers, new boys yeah, getting their boots Levi, wet. Levi Jones in the midfield. Yeah, can't forget him as yeah. well. And uh, let's have a look at the Fatima team. O'Brien in goal, of course, uh, uh, a new keeper. Then there's Hospitalis, Leach, Atherton, Karaya, Gobin, King, Mason, Smith, Gooden, and Barrington up front. Hudson Charles, the coach. Presentation College as well have always been a producer of, uh, of good talent. So, interesting game. We saw a very interesting encounter last year in yeah. this uh, particular format with Fatima College and St. Benedict's. Of course, Fatima going down to a 2 0 deficit before they came roaring back, and then St. Benedict's putting a punctuation mark at the end to win it. But of course, as we know, last year winner was nowhere near the trophy handing out at the end of the season. So, how much of a, an indication this game gives? Certainly, if you go by last year, not yeah. much. It's going to be interesting in terms of the goalkeeping change because Fatima, over the last couple of years, they've had Edwards in goal. Very experienced keeper, a good keeper. Now he's out and O'Brien is in. And uh, Similar you know, to the presentation as well. Yeah, New yeah. Goalkeeper, so Lazarus. Lazarus, he, and he was a tower of strength, wasn't yeah. he, for that presentation team. Well, we're just about getting ready for the kickoff here. This is the NGC Super Cup. It's Fatima College against Presentation College, a real north-south rivalry. And uh, just awaiting Fatima is the one with the kickoff. And it's Gobin. He goes all the way back. Let's see. It's Atherton. Skipper Atherton gets it to Barrington. Barrington was a name we saw a couple times last year, but they're being put under pressure. And it's going to be a throw for presentation. Young with the throw. Gets it in field. Towards Bain. Back to Young. As Fatima trying to gain possession here. It's going to be another presentation throw. Ball played wide. That's a very, very good ball. And this is Dubé. Goes all the way back. Gets it to Braffwood. Braffwood looking for some support. Very dangerous ball and Fatima wins it. It's with Karaya. He's looking to go wide. But Dubé gets back control. Loose ball is picked up in the middle by Jones. But Dubé fighting away for it. Mason looking to go down that left side. Braffwood with the header. It's a good tackle from Karaya. But Dubé gets it. Plays a good ball inside to Clement. He goes back but gives it away to Gobin. So no team really settling as yet. As this is Smith. 
Levi Smith looking to play down the line. The ball comes off of the Fatima player in King, and it's going to be a throw for presentation. Long throw upfield. Jacob trying to gain possession, but uh, it comes off of him in a tackle from Gooden, and it's going to be a throw for Fatima. This is Gooden with the throw. Foul, a little bit of pushing, so it's going to be a free kick for Fatima. Oh, we mentioned first day of school, already seeing some nerves from both teams. Focus just bobbling around, no team really settling it and passing it around confidently. Leach gets it to Mason. Mason looking to take on his man. Ball comes into the middle to Hospitalis. He goes wide. Mason loses out as here comes presentation. Some good rear guard defending. Hospitalis playing it wide to Mason. Mason looking to go down the line. Rafwit falls over and the ball in fact goes out of play. Is it going to be a throw for presentation? No, it's a free kick. In yeah, fact, well, handball, handball. Yeah, I think Mason felt that the ball uh, did go out and uh, when you are on the pitch, gentlemen, there is a line there that uh, it seemingly was erased. Well, as best as I guess the groundkeeping staff can erase it, but it's certainly evident and, and I can understand why Mason probably would have gotten his lines twisted there. Hopefully, a, a player that's playing that close to the line that he, he now learns his lesson because <laughs> he's going to have to deal with that fact oh. for all of the 90 minutes. minutes. Plus. That's right. So, presentation, looking to come forward with it through Elliot. But uh, Hospitalis, uh, handleball, and it's going to be a free kick for Fatima. He's been impressive so far, Hospitalis. Yeah. He looks uh, a very calm customer in the middle of the park, has kept uh, the, the play going. Of course, he's been playing one and two touches, which is uh, obviously unfooted some of the uh, presentation players. Looks a clever one in the number six position for Fatima. Well, it's going to be a free kick, and King is lining it up. Or is it going to be Leach? No, it's Leach. Goes high over the bar. Never got over it. it was at a distance. He was, he was far out, and you could understand him trying to sort of just chipped the ball but uh, he needed power and he needed to keep it low yeah i think it's just a wrong technique applied try to use uh, the inside of his foot uh and didn't have much of a long run-up for that sort of distance you have to be very very technically gifted to be able to trouble the goalkeeper from there with pace and position well here's leach with the throw looking again for mason headed by brafwit who's into the middle of the park here's king Looking to go wide towards Gooden. Gooden starting to come forward, then decides to hold up play. Gets it back to Smith in the middle of the field with Elliott. He, he loses out. Oh, sorry, with, uh, with uh, Barrington. And he loses out. The ball goes all the way back. This is Elliott now for presentation, playing it to Young. He tries to play a 1 2 as they goes, he goes up the line. This is Young. It's a good run from Young. Ball. Plays it in field. Ball. This is Schlemmer, the keeper mines. in two minds. He started to come yeah. and then he stood. He did the right thing, though, eventually, the goalkeeper. Yeah. As you rightfully said, Colin, he thought about it. James, this is certainly up your alley. He hesitated, but the good thing is, he was decisive, and he stayed home. Yeah, absolutely right. For a second, it looked like he was in control of it, the of striker. But, of course, the goalkeeper coming, narrowing the angle, certainly put an element of doubt in the attacker's mind. Well, this is Smith going down the line there for Fatima. He takes it, he runs right out of play. It's going to be a throw for presentation. So Young is going to no doubt take the throw. Difficult conditions though, guys. Hot. I mean, the, it, it's hot, humid, no breeze really blowing. But I tell you what, if they told me that it's going to be cooked alive, at least it could have given me a side of cool slow to go along with it. It is scorching out there. Of course, uh, during the pre-match show, beads of sweat coming down. I pity the boys on the field at the moment. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to have a, a, a break maybe after 20 minutes or yeah, something. Yeah, a cooling break. A cooling break. I'm uh, quite sure that uh, will have to be instituted here today. Of course, uh, news coming out about the refurbishment of the Hazy Crawford uh, surface, plain surface and track. It's uh, looking in good shape for a surface that is going to be replaced soon. 
Yeah. And you do hope that uh, that means that it will be in an even better shape. Well, here's Brafwit. Not sure what he's trying to do. He's running himself into problems, and luckily he gets a foul. But yeah, he was he's running. Out. Yeah, he was bailed out because he was he was in two. He was in trouble. He was in about three minds. What to do with the ball? But luckily they get a free kick. Cooper is going to take it and gives it back to Brafwit. He gets it back to Cooper. It's going to go long. Looking for Clement. Headed away by Barrington. So this is Clement getting it back to Brafwit. Brafwit, that's a dangerous pass and it's well won by Coraya. Uh, he is on the move. He's got support in Mason on his left. Doesn't decide to use Mason. Tried to cut back inside but it came off of the defender and Fatima has got a throw. Yeah, good surge in one there by Coraya. Trying to impress himself upon the presentation team. And that's what they would want from him playing in that position. Leach with a cross and Smith barges into the goalkeeper, Ronaldo Lee. He would feel good with that uh, catch because, of course, coming in for Lazarus. Lazarus, who was absolutely brilliant last year for presentation, wasn't he? Yeah, he was one of the players of the season, Kanye Lazarus. He's been with that team for quite a number of years. He's seen it all. Of course, I had a chat with the goalkeeping coach, Jefferson George. He's quite confident in this young man in goal as well. It's Hospitalis with a shot. Goes just wide. He seemed to snatch at it at the end. He, he thought he had a little bit more room. He was running with it, thinking he was going to shoot. And then he pushed it one a little bit too much ahead of him. And he was closed down quickly. But he still got the shot away. It had no direction and it had no power. Just about eight and a half minutes gone here. Still, we await the first goal at the Hayes Craw Crawford Stadium. This is the NGC Super Cup. Rafwit playing that ball up the line. Away goes Dubé. Cutting good. inside. Well defended in the end by Barrington. And Atherton puts it behind for a corner. But Dubé showing some speed there. Cutting inside. And uh, almost getting the better of Barrington. And uh, it had to be cleaned up by Dubé. Yeah. Again. Just wonder a little bit, gentlemen, about the positioning of Leach, the left back for Fatima College. Caught a bit high up the park. A second time now, ball played in behind there. Uh, they have to be a little careful because they have willing runners in the presentation who's uh, looking to exploit those spaces. Well, here's Jacob. That's, I'm not yeah, sure what he was trying to do. Yeah, really poor because he found himself in a space needed to make the right decision, and instead he made the wrong one. So here is Barrington getting it up to Hospitalis. Has to go back. It's good football. But it's one back here by presentation. So Atherton was the one involved in that uh, play with Hospitalis and not Barrington. So here is Leach with the throw. Corbin looking for Hospitalis. Good work by Hospitalis. It well gets it to, it to King. King, this is Coraya. Coraya looking to go down that right side with the King. He Good sends ball. the cross in. Mason taking it on his chest. And I thought he would have taken it on his chest and tried to get the shot away, but he was cramped for room. Here is Mason again going, trying to wiggle his way through the defenders. Eventually, it's cleared up field. Well, I think he, he did the wrong thing there, Mason, in, the, in, in, of course, trying to bring the ball on his chest. Instead of bringing it down, Colin, he popped it up in the air. We yeah. really need to get it down as quickly as possible. And, and maybe manage, get and make shot, it shot off, yeah. And it's a big difference, of course, when you're trying to, to, to bring the ball down on your chest. Of course, there's instances where you try to pop it up. But also, there's instances where you have to take a shot. You have to get it down as quickly as possible. And he wasn't able to do that. Well, the drums are beating away as we await the first goal here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Fatima has a free kick. 
Gibbs with Gooden. Sends it into the box. The heads go up. Hospitalis looking to take the shot. Not a great one. It slices off his right boot. This is Atherton. Looking to go wide. Young with the head up. Comes up to Clement. He, he can be very dangerous. Plays a good ball through. Dubé is on the chase. But that's good defending in the end. Really good defending by Atherton. He's going to have a challenge dealing with the likes of Atherton and Barrington. Two players, of course, with a ton load of experience, physicality. Been there, done it all. His experience will play a big factor 1v1 versus the likes of him. He's got to find alternative ways to find space that will give him a chance. So here's Brathwaite with the throw. Gets the return ball, looks around. Sends it into the box. Again, Clement is there. The heads go up. Clement is looking to get the shot away. The shot eventually comes from Jones. He's appealing for handball, but it's cleared away. Elliot with a booming kick upfield. Jones does well to keep King at bay. Sends that ball up the left side. Jacob sends it across. Not a great one. It's cleared away by Barrington. I'll tell you what, certainly wasn't a bad effort there. So good header. Coming in the box. He just thought for a second there that Dubé just looked like the player that got that connection. Just couldn't get it past O'Brien and goal. Well, Elliot is going to take the right sided corner. Sends it low, but it's cleared away. He's going to have to do it all again. So a right-sided corner again for presentation. It's going to be Elliot. Oh, sorry, it's going to be Jacob. Free kick given to Fatima. Coming up to 15 minutes. Still, Fatima nil, presentation nil. This is the NGC Super Cup. Away goes Leach. Mason always seems to be having space and, and always seems to be by himself. That's a good tackle from Brathwaite. Jones plays it upfield towards Bay. Looking for Dubé. Here is the ball played wide. Go all the way back. Fatima trying to build from the back. This is Barrington. Goes wide towards Gooden. He has to go to go his goalkeeper, O'Brien. He's got to be careful. Plays it out. Seems a little bit nervous at this point in time, guys. O'Brien. Well, they, they want to play and they want to keep possession. But you also have to be wise in, in doing that. And a lot of, of, of being able to keep the ball in the back is where you position yourself and understanding where the entire field is. In that particular situation, O'Brien probably would have been better served opening up himself and switching the, the point of possession. Instead, he plays it out. And I agree, Colin. Maybe a bit of nerves there, but yeah. it's certainly something that they want to do. But if you're doing it, you have to understand the principles that govern it. Yeah, it's a, a bit of nerves. It seems, uh, you know, I, I remember a little earlier when he was coming out and then he stopped. And now they give it away. Guys, I, I think it's a little bit of rustiness. I, I know they've been training probably since July, looking for the opening here. But, you know, it's, it's uh, sometimes you, you know, uh, a little bit of nerves, a little bit of rustiness. That's the first game of the season. Yeah. Can I argue that? Then again, this age group, certain decision making attributes that players should have 
and uh, at times can't can't really make up for poor decisions. Poor decisions are just that poor decisions. They've made quite a few in the opening few minutes. You might blame the sun. You might blame first game of the season. It's just poor decision making. Well, here is a good run from Braffwaite. Can he get a cross in now? Not a bad one and cleared away. In fact, it wasn't cleared away. It went off the boot of Gooden, but just went straight in the air, which gave O'Brien a chance to come and collect it. He bowls it out to Leach. I'm not sure if Brent might chime in on this. Of course, I'll talk about that in a second. Of course, Brent, you've been around the technical circuit of Trinidad and Tobago football, regional football for that matter. And uh, decision making is something that we've heard coaches speak about a lot. We're all players in the Caribbean. We've got technical ability all wrong. But sometimes we're, we're a bit late in terms of developing that cognitive sense of making the right decisions. And it comes with games. It comes in game type situations like what we're speaking about now. And the more these kids get to play in these sorts of environments, the better you become at it. You know, and when you look at uh, the way that teams approach things across the world, especially in the, in the elite leagues, it's repetition. And I just feel that our kids uh, don't do it enough. They don't play enough games where you get that practice because you can't emulate some of these situations in practice. It's game type situations. And, and we would have seen O'Brien will be better when he looks at this tape and understands that he can open his body up and switch the point of possession. He would see how much room he has. He could see if he positioned himself differently that he will be able to, to be that point of the switch. And, and that comes with, as I said, ex match experience and being able to see the games that uh, you've played in and correct those mistakes. Uh, and you're right, it, it's a challenge for, for the players in the region because when you look at the amount of time you need to do to do these sorts of things and you look at the amount of time that our players here in the region get on a, a football pitch it really is re the story of why we do have our challenges uh, when it comes to certain aspects of a football game well it's going to be a free kick for Fatima and it, it very well looks like Hospitalis is going to take it is he going to get it into the box or is he going to go to goal he goes to goal and a poor kick again what a poor kick never really got over it was leaning back and it went high over the uh, goal post and it's going to be a goal kick it's going to be a goal kick for presentation not a great uh, free kick james not in the least nobody would know that better than him it's the second time they've had an opportunity from a set piece listen to the likes of derrick king of course tnt in action against honduras later tonight and uh, one of the things that he has been working on with his team capitalizing on set pieces uh, well as we suggested uh, cooling break is now in progress after just about 19 minutes the referee Hines has asked both teams to because it's, it's sweltering heat here I you know I, I wouldn't even say it's a lovely day for cricket it's too hot I mean it's crazy the, the heat here today um, and it's just unlucky that uh, the secondary schools <laughs> have decided to open the league on a day like this but uh, it's really, really sweet. I, I feel it for those guys, um, you know, because it, it sap, they, this kind of heat saps your energy. And I don't care whether you're 16, 17, or like Brent, 70. It makes no, absolutely no difference. Well, I tell you what, if uh, both coaches now would be certainly identifying the heat as a reason why they should be a little bit more patient yes. in their build-up and, and try to hold on to the football a little bit longer. Uh, we've seen both teams been uh, very careless in their possession, in their efforts to possess the football, I should say. And neither really have had a stranglehold in this football game. And you've seen the opportunities where they can possess the football, but I think a bit of nerves, overzealousness. And as uh, rightfully mentioned, Russ probably have played a part as we see some of the spectators there in the cool. And they're enjoying it. Got the rhythm section back. Yeah, not a... Not a great crowd not a big crowd but not a bad crowd you know still a um, lot of people must be a lot of the past students would be coming from work coming to support their old alma mater would be coming down here but um do you think calling the rhythm section has a preseason as well coming into this they, they do go on a bit of a break yeah do they do they come together before uh, of the season course starts? yeah and practice they must <laughs> train. they must come together and practice don't they <laughs> but here's presentation with Braffwood going up that left side Going up that right side, my apologies. And he's won a throw. So he 
seems to be going with a long one, trying to get it straight into the box. Nobody. It was Jones fighting for it. And the shot comes, goes high over. The, actually, the shot came from Levi Jones. And uh, never again didn't get over it. And, you know, that's something I really want to see improve this year in the secondary schools. We've, you know, is the shooting. We've seen over the years shooting some spectacular goals from shots outside the box. Last year, there were one or two. But too many shots, in my view, went wide or went over the bar. I think it was preparation of the pass in that instance. Player leaning on the pass for him. Maybe a bit too much weight on it. It turned him from having a first-time effort, which he did. Again, it comes down to decision-making, knowing the right weight at which to play the football. Well, this is Koraya. Is he fouled? Yes, he is, says referee Hines. And it's going to be a free kick for Fatima. And that's better. The position that Koraya picked up right in the half spaces, able to, 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 to play in the half turn. That's what you want. That's good play by Koraya, being able to bring them through the different lines by just positioning himself in the right place. This is Barrington. Back to Atherton. They've got to be careful. They're trying to come out from the back. They run themselves in problems. And uh, it is going to be a throw for... We see Atherton is complaining to Hospitalis that he's not seeing any movement when he picks up the ball. And uh, so it's, it's something that they've got to look at, the coaches have got to look at, because uh, both Atherton and Barrington struggling sometimes to get the ball out from the back. This is Jones. Elliot. Young is wide. But Karaya wins it for Fatima. Turns nicely with it. Starts to come forward. Goes wide to Mason. Mason takes control. Plays it back to Hospitalis. Not a great ball. And in fact, it did come off the presentation defender. But uh, it's going to be a throw for Fatima. But you were thinking Mason should have gone forward with that. He went square looking for Hospitalis. And that was where the problem arose. Here's Karaya. And he's just bumped off of it. Dubé. Trying to play a 1-2. The loose ball is picked up here in the midfield. And that was Mason going all the way back. Hospitalis, but the referee is now going to award a free kick. Yeah, again, learning curve there for O'Brien. Just needed to control the ball again and open his face and play to the next side. Obviously a bit of nerves in there, but... He's certainly going to learn as he go along. Has the right appetite. He is showing himself just being able to execute and understand situations. Certainly make him a better goalkeeper. Well, a foul on Elliot there. And uh, as long ball played to no one in particular. And it's going to be a throw. Or is it? Oh, I think it's, uh, let's uh, yes, it is going to be a throw. Rafway is taking it, getting it to Dubai. Gives it away to Hospitalis. Very tight space. Hospitalis is trying to play Mason in. But Leach gets it. Plays it to Karaya. He tries to go down the line to Mason. This is Cooper. Goes all the way back to his goalkeeper, Lee. Leach with a header. Gets it to King as he started to come forward. This is Karaya. Gets it to Mason. Looking to turn, probably was looking for the shot. Ball played up front. Clement can't get it. It's won by Atherton. This is Leach. Dangerous ball. Barrington does well in the end. But a good challenge coming. Here comes O'Brien. Way off his line. Sends it forward. Not a great clearance. More height than anything else. Eventually, Leach. Sends it over to the far side, looking for Smith. Smith in a tussle with Young. Came off of Young. It's going to be a throw for Fatima. 25 going on to 26 minutes. No real chances so far for either team. Here's the shot. Goes wide. So no goals yet. It's been a lot of midfield play, James. And um, re no real clear-cut chances. Haven't really been. It's a presentation college showing just like last season. 
They are quite compact and solid through the middle. What I'd like to see, both teams in possession, trying to stretch the park, make it a lot bigger. That will give a lot more space and open chances. Well, here's Hospitalis. But he loses out. Cooper gets it. Looks to play it wide to Dubé. Is he going to get it before it goes outside? Yes, he, no, he doesn't. One time he tried to pull it back in field, but it ran off. Of It went from his right boot onto the left leg, the ball, and went out. Ball played forward to Clement. Barrington gets it. Plays it to Gooden. Gooden to Smith. He gives it away. This is Jones. Pushing it a little too far ahead of him. Fonset. That's a good ball. Here comes Jacob. But well defended by Gooden. And O'Brien cleans up. He's been sharp coming off this line, O'Brien. There's no doubt about that. And he does uh, decide to to trek out of his uh, six-yard box. He has been decisive. And uh, despite his height, he still uh, looked to be quite imposing and uh, commanded in his box, which is good to see. Certainly not overall by this occasion. No, he's not. Well, here is Gobin. That's it to Coraya. I thought oh, that's late. That yeah. tackle was late afterwards. Well, they've, I think, uh, referee... Hines is going to give a corner because uh, he, he got the shot away. Yeah. So I think um, the decision to just award the corner uh, was probably the correct one. It's a good shot by Kara. Yeah. Despite uh, the pressure that he was uh, put under. I thought he pushed it once too much though, Brent. He had the opportunity. It was a heavy touch. Yeah, that's right. And, but despite that, he still got it on target. I think if he had a, a better approach play to it, They've probably gotten a little bit more out of that shot. Well, here's the left-sided corner for Fatima. They come in at the far post, and uh, was that Arthur coming in at the far post? Missed the header. It went clear over his head. There was a collision with the goalkeeper. He came off his line. And... Uh, so there was that corner coming into the far post. I think it was Arthurton coming in. And he collided with the keeper. It went way over his head. Let's have a look, James. Yeah, it was a high loopy type service. Type that puts indecision in the minds of the players. A bit of indecision from both goalkeeper and Arthurton was coming in. All six foot two of him, 165 pounds. When that collision happens, I tell you what, Colin, it always hurts. I can well imagine. I tell you, being a goalkeeper, James, or a wicket keeper at cricket, you sometimes need to go and test your 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 uh, your head, because to me, you got to be. I, I don't want to use to be unkind, but you you. It's it's to me it's the most dangerous position in cricket and in football. I'm perfectly seen, Colin. I did both. Yeah, and you're perfectly sane. Are you sure? <laughs> I just double check it, James. No, it. To, to be honest, I'm, I'm being serious now. It, it's it's it, it's a specialist position and a dangerous position. I mean, I, for example, will never think of going in the, in the goal because you 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 stand up there, guys pump shots at you. You gotta come off your line in a in a fifty-fifty type of situation where you're risking injury. It's it's a really dangerous. Uh, probably the most dangerous position on the field. Yeah, it does call for decisiveness. Yeah. It does call for some athleticism as well. And, uh, and making and decisions. And, and, and I was about to say that. The, the judgment, making decisions, when to come off your line, when to stay, cross balls, when to come out and get them. It's really a, a specialist position and people sometimes don't realize that. But here's King looking to go wide to Smith. Young is there. Looking to take it wrong, Smith. Well, he gets the throw. No, it came out uh, before it hit. Ah, uh, uh, no, the assistant referee on the far side now signals that it's going to be a throw for presentation. 31 minutes gone, no goals yet, and really and truly, neither keeper has really been troubled or been tested, and uh, it's been a lot of midfield play, as we're seeing here. This is Clement. 
to go back to Elliot. Dangerous ball. Gobin is putting in a challenge, and Elliot had to play it out for a throw. Fonset for presentation. Long ball looking for Clement. Barrington is there. Does well in the end because he was being put under some pressure by Clement. And Barrington was able to just control and put it outside. He did the correct thing. Giving away a throw, but uh, it could have been even worse because Clement was putting him under a lot of pressure. So here is the throw with Braffwaite. Getting it towards Fonset. Back to Braffwaite. This is Fonset. Getting it to Bain. Bain back to Jones. This is Bain with the shot. No power. And uh, it's easy for Brian to hold on to it. What is he going to do now? He's going to go long. Yes, he is. Good header from Elliot. But it's picked up by Hospitalis. Gets it wide to Mason. Mason cutting in field with it now. Looking around. But does the, does the one thing that he shouldn't do. He gives it away. Fonset to Jones. Back to Elliot. Fonset. Getting his skipper, Cody Cooper, involved. He's going to play long. Looking, asking for some movement. Sends it upfield, but hit a little too hard. Bain was making the run. It was far too much ahead of him. Fatima give it away again. It's going to be a throw. Braffway. With the throw, he's going to get some movement from Bain. Looking for Clement. Clement controls it nicely. Dubey up to Braffwaite. Let's see, have a look at the cross. There's a little bit of a deflection. Picked up by Jacob. He's got Young for company. This is Fonset. Jones. Presentation. Holding on to possession at the moment. Not creating much. Having to go back. Elliot. That's a good turn. The ball played white to Jacob. He can't control it. It's cleared downfield. Not a bad little bit of possession for presentation. As again, they hold on to it. Braffway looking for Dubey. Back to Braffway. Cooper. Long ball forward. They're holding on to. They would be disappointed, presentation. Yeah, I was about they, to say they, that. that. they didn't get more out of that, maybe even a shot on target. It was a good passage of play from them, but certainly not enough to unhinge the O'Brien and goal. I think that's the problem, Colin. The quality needed to, to get a shot on goal is really what's lacking. Because uh, they've uh, shown little signs over the last 10 minutes or so, both teams, but uh, to actually get a shot on frame. Need a bit of quality, and uh, that's been lacking. Yeah, both teams. Yeah, it certainly is. Here is Cooper. Looks to go wide to Dubey. Leach. No control. Gets it back. In fact, uh, the referee's whistle goes, and uh, it's going to be a free kick for Fatima. Thirty-five minutes gone. 10 minutes left plus added on time no goals yet here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium this is the opening of the secondary schools football league it's the NGC Super Cup winners of the league Fatima versus winners of the Intercall presentation this is Arthurton the captain for Fatima gets it to Mason he's challenged by Braffwaite Cooper Gets it to Dubey. Played in field. Bain. Looking for Clement. That's a good tackle in the end from Leach. 
King. Can't hold it, comes off of King, and it's going to be a throw for presentation. Another throw for presentation. Fonset to Jones to Young back to Levi Jones this is Fonset Cody Cooper that's a good run from Fonset he has a shot not a bad idea he surprised me so much less for O'Brien but he was right behind the ball and uh, took it comfortably in there and bounced him just in front of him yeah he's never going to be troubled by that didn't have the right angle. Did you have some space though? Thought about having a crack. It's positive signs though from Presentation College. It's something that they lacked last season. Offensive strength. Always solid defensively. It's the you know, offense that they lacked. Well, here comes goalkeeper Lee to take that. Ball played through. This is Cooper. Long ball looking for Dubey. He's being confronted by Leach. Plays a good ball into the middle. This is Bain. They started to find the gaps, aren't they, presentation yep, coverage? Yep. And they're starting to knock it around nicely, you know, aren't they? This is Jacob going up that left side. And uh, good tackle coming back from good in the ball coming off of Jacob. It's going to be a throw. The throw quickly taken. Coraya. Yeah. Smith going down that right side, but well challenged by Young. What I like so far, guys, about presentation defensively, they're pretty solid at the moment, aren't they? They're a compact team. Of course, uh, Coach Cooper, known for prioritizing solid defensiveness. They like to stay compact, won't give you much space through the middle. Got to play around them, play quickly. If you want to break them down, Fatima hasn't been able to do that so far. Well, here comes Fatima with Hospitalis, chips that ball over, not a bad idea. And uh, seems like Coraya couldn't get there and it went out of play. It's going to be a good yeah, it's a, a bit unfortunate because I thought the build-up play right before having to execute the cross from Coraya was good. Got the ball into Hospitalis with a bit of trickery to get out of a tight spot. But just eventually it just went over. Game becoming a little bit stretched maybe. Of course the conditions with the heat is having an impact. As a presentation, I'm starting to find a little bit more joy in possessing the football. Yeah, it's going to be difficult chasing, particularly when you don't keep possession well. It forces you to expend a lot of energy. And both these teams have done just that. And perhaps one of the reasons why, Brent, you feel that this game has stretched out. Yeah, I just feel as we get closer to the halfway mark presentation uh, really the team in the ascendancy we're seeing a Fatima College team dropping off uh, even more and more that intensity the press and to close down presentation is not there and evident that we saw in the first 10 15 minutes or so but it's a good run there's Mason but Cooper puts in the challenge and eventually the loose ball is just going out towards the keeper not a bad run at all from Mason thought he just ran out of ideas he was just going through and um, just pushed the ball too far ahead of him This is Jacob. Gives it back to Jones. Jones has some room in front of him now. Clement linking up nicely with Bain, but eventually it's picked up by Barrington. Mason. He hasn't been bad, Mason. Ball goes back to Cooper. Decides to go all the way back to his goalkeeper, Ronaldo Lee. This is Elliot. Again, the ball goes out. It's going to be a throw for Fatima. Just about four minutes left, plus added on time. This is Clement. He's got Dubé to his right. He's looking around. He turns the other way. Gets it there to Fonset. 
but he can't uh, do much with it. Has Fatima come away with it? This is King. Oh, he's brought down. No, says the referee. Says the King, get up. This is Brafway. Elliot with the ball, long ball up front to Dubé. Jones. That's a strong challenge coming in on Bain by Barrington. Rafweed goes all the way back to his keeper. Looking to go wide. Young. Bain plays it in, gives it away. The shot comes. Bit of the deflection goes to Mason. I thought he would have gone for goal. He should have gone. Why come back in field? This is Dubey to Bain. Leach goes all the way back to goalkeeper. O'Brien. Atherton. Jones with the ball for Jacob. He's getting in front of Gooden. Still, Jacob. He's looking for some support. Getting backward support from Young. Plays it in field. Jones can't control it. It's cleared away as far as Elliot. He tries to get it to Young. It goes out of play. It's going to be a throw for Fatima. No goals yet. Two minutes left for the halftime whistle. Plus whatever added on time there is. So a free kick for Fatima. Coming up to the 44th minute. This is Leach. Gobin to Mason. It's played long. It's going to be a goal kick for a presentation. Cooper plays it upfield looking for Dubé doesn't get the better of Leach and in fact Leach wins the throw coming up to the 45th minute and whatever added on time there will be We're getting word that there's going to be two minutes of added on time. As here is Clement, goes back towards Young. Young goes wide to Jacob, but it's won back here by Gooden. Here comes Gooden. Can he get the cross in? Oh, it's cleared away by Cooper. Good run. But you could see him now holding up his hand, just apologizing. Says Mason. Gives it away. Dubé. Looking to go forward with it. Plays a good ball there, but Bain can't control it. It's picked up by Gooden goes all the way back to O'Brien. We are into the two minutes of added on time. No goals here. Well, here goes Smith. Levi Smith. He's looking to come back in field with it. He's now looking for some support. Gets it from Coria. The shot goes in the back of the net. Coria has scored in the First minute of added on time. He passed it, literally passed it into the net. 
All the hard work was done by Smith. He squared it back, and all Correa did was to push it into the net. No problem. Fatima take the lead. Wow. That came out of absolutely nothing. It was a great run going down that right side. Where is Correa? Here comes Correa, and he just slotted it into the back of the net. But all the hard work was done by Smith and Correa arriving just at the right time. Not, no power. He just literally passed it into the net. And Fatima take the lead here in the NGC Super Cup. We have played the two minutes of added on time. And Fatima College come away at the halftime with a one goal lead. The goal scored by Luke Correa in minute number 47. And just like that, Fatima take the lead. So we're going to take a break. And then we're going to come back here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium for our halftime discussion. The driver of PCM 746, please attend to your Welcome back here to the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Uh, well, the teams are making their way out for the start of the second half. This is the NGC Super Cup, Fatima College against presentation. If you now join us, well, Fatima College, they took the lead and added on time through Luke Karaya, just slotted the ball, a lovely run down the right side from Smith, squared it back, and Karaya coming in late, ran on it and just slotted it away from the keeper to give Fatima College the lead. And uh, so it's going to be an interesting second half. Presentation will have to come out and try and one, get the equalizer. And in addition to getting the equalizer, um, they will have to put Fatima under some pressure and try and get the winner. We're seeing a change. Um, there is a substitution. I'm not sure who is the substitution. I think. Not sure if King is off, but we'll give you that information in a while. Who is the substitute has come on. But um, let's, in the meantime, it's Young. So here, going down that right side, it's going to be a free kick. As Tube is the man brought down. So a free kick for presentation seems to be Brathwaite. Plays it short. And a long ball over to the far side. The heads go up. Good and heads it away. It's going to run out of play and it's going to be a throw for presentation. This is Young. This is a good run, but uh, Gooden wins it. So the ball played in field and then 
Richardson. So just a confirmation of that substitution. Bain is off and Boyce is on. So Bain goes off and Boyce comes on for him. So it's with Jacob. Plays it in field. Smith playing it back to Gooden. Gooden chips that ball forward. Flicked on by Gobin. It's picked up now in the midfield by King. Looking to play it wide to Mason. Braffwit intercepts. Plays it in back into Cooper. So here comes presentation with the substitute, but it's now with Clement. Clement goes wide. This is Jacob. Plays it in field. Boyce laying it back. But it's one here. But it's going to be a free kick. Because Fonset was being pulled. And the presentation get a free kick. So there's coach Sean Cooper, just obviously not happy at the moment. His side conceded so late in that first half. And, and, uh, James, I heard you talking uh, about the goal, that you, you, you were querying the position of the keeper, and you're not sure if he was positioned. Because all Correa really came, he just he sort of just pushed it into the corner of the net. Yeah, it was a nice finish, and won't want to take anything away from it, but just question, where was he? in relation to where that ball was going. I'd love to see another angle of it, make a better decision. Yeah. But well, gone past him, and it's a 1-0. Yeah. Fatima. Well, here is an, a terrible time to concede as well. Here is a free kick for presentation. Cooper plays it to Jones. Back to Cooper. Is he going to have a crack? Well, again, I think we've seen, James, about eight shots, and at least 50% of them have gone over the bar. Well, for both a, teams, I'm not, I'm not saying presentation alone. Fatima has been guilty. Well, I'll say presentation in particular. I've been guilty of that. Haven't uh, in possession, in attack, looked very convincing. The strong athletic bunch have won the ball well. They've dominated possession, but it's just in the final third. Here's boys. Oh, he didn't control it. That's good defending in the end by Gooden, because. Jacob was coming in on the back of him. The ball was played in field. Boyce nearly got there. And it ran to the far post. And Gooden came to the savior. He was the savior there of Fatima. Yeah, I think that's my point being made right there. There's the corner played short. It's back to Clement. Cuts inside. Looks to have a shot. No power in it. Even though it bounced in front of O'Brien, he always was getting his body behind it. Plays a good ball out to Correa, but it box over. It. He misjudged it a little bit. He wasn't sure if he should have gone forward to take it. He allowed it to box, and that was the mistake Correa made. I think it's a frustration for the fans of Presentation College that they haven't seemed to have worked out the kinks that haunted them last season in the final third. When you look around the field, they are well organized. It's just in the offensive third where they sometimes lack here's the ball played into the midfield so it's with Cooper nice ball played forward this is Hospitalis plays it to Correa this is a chance here he thought the ball was not a good one and Cooper wins it gets it to Young Gooden, he's had a good game at right back for Fatima. Gobin, back to Gooden. This is Correa, who turns nicely with it. Is he going to have a shot? Dead. But really and truly, he, he almost never put his laces through that, did he? He was, I, again, he appeared to me that he was trying to look for the corner of the net rather than really looking for power. I thought he looked balanced, to be honest. Didn't get his non kicking leg alongside it, stretching for that one. End result exactly what you saw there. Stretch, you're not balanced. You can't get direction right. Well, here's Boyce. Goes wide. 
to Young, back to Elliott, being challenged by Gobin, does well to get it downfield. Leach is there, heads it straight back upfield, but Cooper takes possession for a presentation, gets it to Fonset. What was that from Fonset? Not sure what he tried there, but it was an aimless ball, and uh, it's going to be a throw for Fatima. Does well, does very well. Plays it, gets it to Dube. Dube plays it in field, looking for boys. It's cleared away by Barrington, and it's going to be a throw for a presentation. Ball played upfield. This is Elliot. Gets it to Young. Young coming in field with it now. Looking around, looking for some support. Clement gives it away, gets it back now. Goes all the way back to Elliot. Gets it to Cooper. Cooper is obviously going to play a long ball. He likes to play these long balls. A bit of a dummy from Fonset, but it's picked up by the Fatima defense. This is Barrington. Smith made a lovely run in that first half. Hospitalis. Oh, this is a lovely run. Looking to send Coraya through. Young is there. Gets it to Clement. Boyce. Fonset. Presentation. Knocking the ball around nicely. They go wide to Dubé. Going down that right side is Brafwit. But Dubé trying to go it alone. Hospitalis wins it. Gets it to Mason. Plays a lovely ball. Here comes Fatima now on the counter. Lovely run here. Mason trying to get the better of Cooper. Doesn't get the better of him, but he gets a corner. I know it's only 54 minutes, Colin, but it has some heavy legs out in the field at the moment, particularly... Fatima College. Just not enough players getting in attack to offer support. His goalkeeper Lee beaten once this afternoon. And it's going to be a left sided corner. Seems to be Smith has gone over to take it. Not a bad corner. And that ball was coming through at the end. Smith with the corner sent it towards that far post. It was curling and coming in at that far post was King, but he just couldn't control his shot. But he could have been a King had he put it away. It's a free header, has to go down as a missed chance. Opportunity to perhaps put presentation college out of the game. Wouldn't want to have to rude out at the end of the 90. Yeah, I thought he missed the header and then he tried to kick it or he tried to get a shot away or something. I'm not sure what, what he was doing in the end. But um, I know for sure he never made contact with the ball. And it was a, it was a very good corner, actually, from, from Levi Smith. Was at a low height as well? Should at least get it on frame. Didn't either. A long ball forward. This is Gobin. He can't control it. It's picked up by Young. Sends it downfield, but Gooden. Gets it right back up. Elliot is going to see it out. And it's going to be a goal kick for presentation. 55 and a half minutes gone. We await the second goal. And which could very well be a decisive one. If it goes Fatima's way. You have to think well. Fatima will very well wrap up this game. If it goes presentation way. It could be a real super, super cup finish. What I like about Fatima. Not committing too much numbers forward. Still got that four across the back. Just two players holding in front of them. Presentation College, while they've had a lion's share of possession, primarily in the first half, haven't been able to do much with it. And that's due to the organization of this Fatima team as well defensively. Good ball down the line for Boyce. Keeps it in, keeps it alive. 
he's looking for some support. It's got Dubé with him, but it eventually comes off of the defense and it's going to be a throw for Fatima. Or a throw, sorry, for presentation. Good work from Boyce. Good ball as well down that line. Made a good run. Barrington is heading that ball. Not sure if he tried to head it out for a corner. Again, the heads go up. And referee Hines is going to, well, she has blown the whistle to indicate it's a foul for Fatima. They still lead by that lone goal from Luke Correa. Scored and added on time in the first half. This is Hospitalis. That's a good tackle. Correa is there, gives it back to Hospitalis. Looks to go wide to Mason. Across comes Cooper. That's a good tackle. Plays it out and it's going to be a through for Fatima. The league champions of 2023 was Presentation College. A little bit surprising. They were the Intercall champions. Had to get through a tough south half with St. Benedict's, <laughs> with St. Benedict's and Naparima. Well, yeah, it's a, a, a zone that was laden with potential winners. They did it the hard way, didn't they? Oh, yeah, they Presentation did, so they College. Did. And give them, give give them, them credit. credit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they stuck it out. Just saw Hudson Charles a little while ago in the picture bellowing out instructions he's uh, one of those coaches friend who doesn't sit down very rare you see him sitting also sean cooper hospitalis couldn't control it arthurton runs a little bit into trouble this is fonset looking around ships it down looking for dubé leech is there sends it back up field but only as far as cooper this is Elliot. So clear is down on the far side. I think it's Leach when he cleared that ball. I'm not sure he did some damage to, to himself. Yeah, it is Leach. Looks like Cramp. There is the coaching staff of Fatima, those Hudson and there, Sean Cooper, just uh, giving Jacob some instructions on the far side, side closer to the stand, and there's Leach, obviously cramping, and I would expect it may be a substitution if Leach can't continue. They're seriously working on him. Coming up to the hour mark. The good news is Leach is back up. He's walking very gingerly. Well, I know we haven't seen all of the teams, gentlemen, that uh, will partake in this uh, 2024 season. It's safe to say that uh, these two teams on display will certainly be in the reckoning when it comes to the National League champions. Fatima, of course, missing four critical players that are part of uh, this squad. But uh, even despite that fact, we've seen good flashes of them that would suggest that they would be there and there about. Oh, for sure. And, and presentation as well. I think, yeah. I think general possession for presentation has been good. Yeah. I think just what they've lacked. Quality. Somebody, yeah. Quality in the final third. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and, and, and that's where I believe they'll have to put their work in and make sure that uh, is a possibility. Well, that's a good take from O'Brien. Long ball, searching there for Boyce. And O'Brien, again, I think you made the point, Brent, he comes off his line quickly and decisively. And I was talking to, to James uh, a little bit about goalkeeping. And, um, you know, he was talking how decisive you have to be as a goalkeeper. And I think we've seen that with young O'Brien. Here's the ball played up to Mason. He does well. But Grafwick coming back at him. Mason looking to come in field with it. Has a shot. May have taken a deflection. It has taken a deflection. 
and it's going to be a corner, left-sided corner for Fatima. And I'm, I'm sure Coach Hudson Charles will be very happy with that by Mason. It was positive, cutting in on his right foot, taking on his defender and getting an end product. That's what you want from your attacking players, to be positive. Certainly, that is the sort of attitude they would want going into the season. Well, it's going to be our left-sided corner. Again, Levi Smith is going to take it. Goes towards the far post. Hospitalis with the header. Cleared away by Brathwaite. Goes straight back to Smith. That's a good tackle in the end. But it's picked up here in the midfield. By Fatima as they look to counter. This is Arterton. Has to go back to Barrington. Wide is Gooden. This is Gooden. Hospitalis. Mason has come over on this near side. Gooden. Mason. They give it away. As Boyce looking to turn Barrington. Does exceedingly well. Here comes Boyce. Looking to play. Oh, it's hit a little too far. Not a little. Way too far ahead of Jacob. And O'Brien gets control of the ball. As the minutes in the clock keep uh, ticking, Colin, at some point, you may feel that uh, Presentation College may start to have some other ideas, Coach Cooper and his staff, and maybe throw some numbers forward. Well, or boys, this is Slemon. Oh, that's a good tackle. I tell you what. What a good tackle from Barrington. Excellent. I mean, he, he, he has definitely pulled or hurt something in the execution of that tackle because it's as awkward as you would get and you would see from a challenge. Because his body was facing one way, Colin, but his foot another way. Yeah, I, let's have a look at it, Brent. Wait, he was beaten here. Look at that. <laughs> Not sure what you call that from a defensive <laughs> standpoint, or if there is a name attached to that clearance. But you have to say that his uh, flexibility certainly came into play there. But my goodness. That was a goal-saving clearance. It was certainly was, and especially against a player of the quality of Clement. We know his ability to put the ball into the back of the net. See another player down there with some cramp. So we're going to see a lot of that in the next, uh, what, we've got 20, 26 minutes to go, and I think we're going to see quite a bit of players for keeling over. Particularly for the boys from Yukarapu, Fatima third player that we've seen go down with cramp just question how fit or match fit they are see they have a level of quality to fitness seems to be lacking this early in the season something well, for match fitness match game fitness, fitness yeah yep. and uh, you can run as many hills and as many miles as you want <laughs> but match fitness is a completely different ball game altogether and that uh, takes into consideration short sprints recovery sprints and of course, uh, uh, one or two long endurance running. And no matter how many hills, it, nothing replicates what happens in a game. Nothing in training could not replicate that. Yes. Well, St. Anthony's College, by the way, running uh, to Carinage, heading up to Shagaramas. So they're putting in the work. Of course, they'll be in action next week. Well, I remember when we had a Trinidad and Tobago team that ran through the streets of Marval to, to a particular breakfast place <laughs> under a coach didn't help us they went to the u.s and well it was handsomely well at least got, they got a good breakfast I was just about to say that. <laughs> if it's one thing well they i think they're gonna have a, a bit of a cooling break now the players just heading off to the sides of the field together with referee sissy lines it also must be very difficult for the referees well coming into this fixture the conversation was around how serious do teams take these sorts of fixtures? Of course, it's a, it's a common, the coming together of the league champions and the intercult champions. It does not bear necessarily on your league standing or your intercult standing for that matter. So how teams, and I, my simple answer is once you're playing for a trophy and you're playing against a team that you expect to be there and there about you, you have to play to win. You have to play to win because there is a psychological advantage of winning trophies winning is a is a is an attitude winning winning is something that is done repetitively so you want to win these sorts of football games so 
I don't see teams coming into this fixture and taking it lightly because they would want to, of course, go on to win this because it does put a marker down for you and your team. Yeah, and, and it's a trophy as well. You're coming away with a trophy. So, oh, guess it's not the charity shield. Sorry, Manchester United fans. No, but it's uh, no, Brent. I, I hear you, and, and I think you're right. Um, and it's it's a good gauge as well for the coaches to see on the team who's competitive enough, who is doing the right things. So it's, I mean, yes, that's part of it from a coaching perspective. But no coach is going out there to play to lose. If, if you catch what I'm saying. So he's gone. He sent the, his charges out there to win. And um, but uh, of course, you know, because it's early days, there's a lot of little things that still have to put right. But uh, but I think. Looking at the two teams, you can see the setup, what they're trying to achieve, what they're trying to do on the field. And it, it's going to come later on in the season. Well, I think what we've seen from uh, Fatima College so far is what we would have expected. A team that uh, tries to possess the football and, of course, uh, try to play through. But I think we, we, we all were a little bit uh, surprised, gentlemen, by the way presentation has approached this one. We've seen them trying to play a little bit more, especially through the middle of the park, and trying to, to get to a, a more possession base and not being as direct and, as, 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 and sitting in a low block as we've seen them in the past, which maybe is a sign of things to come from this uh, presentation team. They will feel a bit hard done to be down one goal so far, because they certainly was the team in the ascendancy in the last uh, 20 minutes or so in the first half. Well, here is presentation, looking to come forward with it through Dubé. Or Braffwood, sorry. Ball goes all the way back to Cooper. He gives it to Elliot. Sun has gone, so it's nice and cool now at the moment here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium. Ball goes all the way back to Cooper. He's got Fawn set wide. Chips it down that right side. Looking for Dubé. Fonset with a cross. Comes to Clement. Tried to get a shot away. Good tackle coming from Gooden. He's had a good game at right back as well. Liam Gooden. Through. You know, the referee Hines is saying you, you've taken it from the wrong spot. And she's asking Rafwit to Maybe go back to about six, seven yards. This is Cooper. Gives it to Elliot. So Fatima, well organized at the moment. They're allowing presentation to hold on to that ball. A shot comes from Jones. Not a good one. Came off the outside of his boot. Another player has gone down with cramp. As referee Hines is calling the trainers onto the field not sure who that is at the moment let's see it's Leach so he's come back on the field and he's gone down again I don't know how long he can carry on well, they're limbering up players on the sideline and I suspect uh, he's going to be one to be substituted yeah because he came back onto the field Brett and he's gone down again and he's hobbling off I don't think he can last much longer. Well, I don't think he can last at all. I haven't seen anyone approach the fourth official bench just yet, but I suspect that would be coming as a player seemingly liberating up and it looks like a change is going to be made. Yeah, Leach is coming off. I know that for sure. But I'm not sure. It looks like Jai Bailey. Bailey? Yes, yep, Jaheem Bailey is the man on. It looks like uh, there's some adjustment uh, that's going to be made in this Fatima ranks. I'm just looking to see who's gone to the... Not sure who has gone to the left-back position. That confirmation of that substitution. Bailey for Leach. But here goes Clement. Plays it through oh, the on. boys. Spobrian is coming. Oh! Done really well. And he's... He's injured himself. Injured for his trouble. But I tell you what, gentlemen, I was I was worried for him. I tell you, that could be a life, a goal saving and game saving 
move by Young O'Brien. Of course, he's uh, worse for wear for his troubles. There's boys. But he was decisive. Yeah, he was. And he came off his line in a flash and got there first. Mistake by Hadid. Boyce was always second best. Look at that, O'Brien. He had to be brave. And you're right, Colin, in your assessment for goalkeepers and the qualification, mental qualifications to go in the goal. Yeah. Because I certainly wasn't going to come out for that one. And, and I, I know you wouldn't. I second you on that. <laughs> I wasn't coming anywhere. Are we seeing James think. salvating here the, yeah, uh, yeah. next to us? Because he would all day long. Oh, yeah. James would have been out there as well. Flashing neon lights. <laughs> Look, there, he's got to be substituting it like it's... Uh, yeah, that'd be unfortunate because yeah. I, I thought he was really brave in what he, he did. He was, he was. And we they're, really, they're really unfortunate. They, they're calling for the stretcher. Not sure yet. The, the medics are over there. Let's, might have let's just have a look again. On. Just over pushed, and there we go on his head. Yeah, it's yep. a collision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. even to the back of his head. Totally accidental. Yeah. I tell you what, if they go on to win this game, I do hope he recovers well, but he would certainly receive all sorts of accolades for that brave, heroic move that he made. As I said, he was decisive in what he did. Yeah, and Logan Hamilsmith will be replacing him. So what a pity. Well, he's a brave lad. And uh, we've seen some decisive and, moments and from him. And a clever lad as well, because, again, to make that decision to come off his line, the right one, may I add, yeah, uh, you know, was, was good. Brent, he spotted the danger he very did, early. Yeah. He was high. Yeah, he was high off his line. Right. He spotted the danger. That's what you want from a goalkeeper. We talk about positioning. We talk about, obviously game understanding and that right there by young o'brien was top draw again uh, i do hope he recovers from this but uh, certainly a big brave move by the young man i tell you what you look at you look at at at, at o'brien and you know when when he came off his line he he knew as well boys we, we knew boys from last year i don't know if you remember boys he's a decisive he's a good runner off the ball and runs into good positions and there we saw him running into a good position he got that beautiful ball played through to him and i tell you had o'brien not come out it could have been curtains for fatima in terms of conceding a goal brilliant from young o'brien and it's a pity to see him going off really pity not only going off but being stretched off and i'm sure that young man there in your picture logan hamelsmith when he realized that o'brien was a starter here today he probably didn't fathom that he would actually take the pitch and now he has uh, 20 plus minutes or so to preserve this lead what a moment for this young man who's coming onto the pitch if we thought that o'brien was an inexperienced goalkeeper where would you hang hammersmith yes. in that conversation <laughs> well here is uh, we're resuming play now as they try to go down the left side this is jones this is Jones, and uh, the ball cleared away upfield. And uh, it's with Elliot. So this is the ball played long forward by Cooper. This is Dube sending it across, and it's cleared away. It's going to be a right-sided corner. So a right-sided corner for presentation. Again, the trail one goal to nil. We have 15 minutes left in this game, and whatever added on time there will be, and there will be some added on time based on the injury to O'Brien and a couple of stoppages, players going down. I would expect right now we're talking five, six minutes of added on time. But here is that right sided corner. The head let's go up. And it's going to be a it's going to be a throw. So this is Fatima through Gooden. Ball played in field. That's a good challenge. It nearly went straight to Boyce. And uh, Lee. I'm not sure that's the right decision. No, it's picked up by Mason, but he, He's he loses very lucky. Yeah. A better touch from Mason and could have, it yeah. would have been in a bit of trouble. That's right. This is Cooper going wide to Braffwaite. 
Hospitalis looking to play that ball through not a great ball he's trying to get Gobin going Atherton this time they get it through to Gobin to Bailey back to Gobin shot comes the appeal handball penalty well well the man who has come on as a substitute I'm almost certain I'm almost certain um, it was Bailey the ball hit the hand of a presentation defender we'll have to look at that a yellow card as well I just wonder Colin where his hand was if it how close it was to his body how much time he had to yeah, it's, that's harsh yep. it's it's I look I do believe it's it is and could and would be given but I think it's very harsh yep. Bailey was the, the one who was having the shot having the crack because I think the distance between the, the 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 defender and the player that played the ball is just far enough to give a penalty just and I mean just yeah I think any closer inches closer and I would say it's too close and it's uh, it's uh, shouldn't have been given well, referee Hines was on spot and she immediately pointed to the spot. So we'll have the yellow card. Yeah. Good Brent, somewhat a tough decision. Of course, uh, don't forget you can catch the excitement of the SSFL on the Sportsmax app. Download from the App Store. Or the Google Play Store to catch all the league action and updates on the Sportsmax app. And of course, you'll see that yellow card for Cody Cooper as well. He's just been given the naughty boy treatment. Cody Cooper, of course, are one of the survivors of last season. Played with the national under 20 team. And also son of the coach, uh, Coach Cooper as well. Yeah, maybe it's my uh, affinity to defenders is causing me difficulties in swallowing that one i just think that in terms of proximity i question i do understand and uh, i'm very sure i'm well, going to get all sorts of messages from referees across the region yeah but did they did the hand leave the body friend? well it was already outside the body uh, and i think that's what that's why the call uh can be given but it's a tough one because really and truly and obviously the argument would be if his hand didn't block the ball there would have been a shot and goal so i understand it and it's uh, not any way means this, well, this is Cecile's, Cecile's call it's going to be barrington matthew barrington with the penalty for fatima to put them two goals to nil up here goes barrington it's in the back of the net. That's a good penalty. Quality. Quality. Very good penalty. So, in minute 80, Matthew Barrington has made it two goals to nil. Fatima now seemingly assured of the NGC Super Cup unless presentation can turn it around. Barrington and the rest of his back four have been exceptional today punctuation there by the center half this is a quality penalty steps up and places it right into the corner good technique good skill very confident as to what side of the goalkeeper he was going to place the ball and at the end not only give the goalkeeper no chance but also give Fatima every chance of walking away with this NGC trophy and you might just think gentlemen that that might be it, game set match. But we've seen Hurik, Hurik's last season in the St. Benedict's Fatima game at this same. So, can we see that again this year? We very well may. 18 minutes gone. Fatima, they lead by two goals to nil. So, here is Elliot. Goes all the way back to his goalkeeper. Gets it to Cooper. Plays that ball long forward. It's 
a good ball to Mace, who's come over on this right side. Good in. Elliot wins it. Gets it back down to Clement. Clement, twisted, turn in there with it. Plays it to Fonset. He's looking to play that ball forward. Oh, that's a naughty foul. That's going to be a yellow card. So the yellow card there. But let's have a look at the Sportsmax moment, guys. Yeah, a good bit of deliberation. Look at this for a cool finish by Luke Karaya. Announcing himself on the scene. And easily passes that one in goal. That's your Sportsmax app moment. Yes, and while we were looking at that moment, the yellow card was given to Roshan Dubé for that really late tackle. So here's Young heading it forward. Ball played nicely there to Clement. He turns with it. But he's brought down and it's going to be a free kick for presentation. Just got about seven and a half minutes plus added on time. Fatima leading here by two goals to nil. I think when Coach Cooper looks back at this game again, I think he'll be bitterly disappointed because. They had shown signs both in the first half and in this half of, of having control of the game. And again, the quality needed to break down that Fatima record just hasn't been there. Bailey brought down. It's going to be a free kick for Fatima. And it, it's not a question mark on, on the players. I think it's just a question mark on the, the way they approach things. Just haven't been good enough in the final third. So some substitutions being made here and uh, Dubé is coming off so rough so rough weight for Dubé that's Malik rough weight and, and then Yearwood on for Gobin. So Yearwood for Gobin. And Malik Rafway for Dubey. As Fatima has a left sided corner. Bailey with the cross goes to the far post, but in so doing, went out of play and it's going to be a goal kick for presentation ball goes out of play it's going to be a throw for Fatima Levi Smith who has gone over to that uh, Defensive position at a left back replacing Leach. He's going to take the throw. It's coach Sean Hooper bellowing out some instructions. They badly need a goal to at least get back into this game. Cleared out. It's going to be a throw for Fatima as that ball took a deflection. I'm well, looking at this. Uh Fatima set up, with, particularly with Set Hadid playing as that hole in six, almost played as a back five in, in, in some situations. And it shows that uh, Fatima is quite ready and capable to get themselves uh, stuck in defensively and be resolute. They've been very, very compact, and that's allowed the back four uh, the flexibility to sometimes probably gamble and try to win the football in instances because essentially with Hadid and the, the position he's picking up, it is practically a back five in, in most times. Four and a half minutes to go. Plus added on time, another substitution for Fatima. Karaya, who scored the first goal, is making his way off. He's had an outstanding game, Karaya. So there is confirmation of the substitution. Fernandez on for Karaya. Easily a candidate uh, for man of the match, gentlemen, Karaya. Oh, for sure. Well, he's uh, really been a live wire for 
and Fatima team. Uh, is that ball headed away by, I tell you, I, I am, uh, Gooden has also had a tremendous game at right back for Fatima. I remember him make, clearing a ball that was coming across the face and Jacob was coming in and he was able, but not only that, I, he's been coming forward nicely with the ball, his positional play I think has been good. He's one of my candidates as well, but um, I like Coraya. But here is a free kick. Chipped in by Clement. The heads go up. Eventually, it's going to be cleared up field. It's going to go to Elliot. Yearwood is putting him under some pressure. He's got some fresh legs. Lee, well, well, gets it out. Luckily, away from anybody, and it's going to be a throw for Fatima. Good in with the throw. Trying to get it to Yearwood. Mason has gone into that striking position. And Yearwood has picked up a uh, position wide on the right. It's going to be a through four presentation. We've just got about coming up to two minutes left, plus added on time. Fatima leading by two goals to nil. The first one coming in the first half and added on time. Second minute of added on time. And the second goal coming through the penalty spot in minute number 80. Scored by Matthew Barrington. But, oh, and it's going down that left side. was young going down that left side but here is Boyce Jones Fonset Hospitalis gets it away to Mason but he loses out to Fonset Cooper gets it to Malik Brathwaite this is Micah Brathwaite back to Cooper Malik Brathwaite playing it in field Cooper, what is he going to do? Sends a long ball, aimless ball really. And uh, Keeper Hamilsmith gets hold of it and dies to the ground, falls to the ground. So he's got a touch of the ball. Logan ha Hamilsmith. It's going to be a throw for, or is it a free kick? Let's see what the referee will decide. She's calling the physio onto the field for a presentation because looks to be Jacob on the ground. It is Jacob. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like a little coming together there. Yeah. Himself and uh, Levi Smith. Yeah. So we are just about completing 90 minutes, guys. We'll have to wait and see just how much added on time there will be. So we understand there's going to be six minutes of added on time. As Fatima looking to make another substitution. Not sure who is coming off at the moment. It looks like Mason, the man off. So Mason, Mason is off and uh, we'll just call him content for now. Shing. Shin Hong. Okay. Shin Hong. Okay. Shin Hong. So the ball played upfield. Presentation. In possession. Gets it to Cooper.
Goalkeeper Logan Hamill Smith with it. Is he gonna go long? Well, makes a lot of height, not distance. And headed back in by Elliot. This is Brafweed. Plays the ball downfield as presentation in possession. Fonset. Here comes presentation again as Boyce fighting for the ball, but Smith is there, sends it upfield. Man of the match, guys. What's the verdict? James, what's the verdict? Yeah, I think I agree with Brent. Mariah, he looked lively. Caused all sorts of trouble for the presentation defense. Sub-confirmation there. Uh, Jacob is off and Simmons is on. I think when he scored the goal as well, Karaya, was, was really critical as, a, as to how this game has eventually ended up. Yes, yeah, King. Uh, ball coming off of King. It's going to be a goal kick. As rightfully mentioned, they've been resolute defensively. Fatima and anyone there that back four certainly could have been up for that award. Bar Barrington, Gooding, any of them. Arthurton, Arthurton. yeah. Solid Leach and his departure. Yep. Solid as well. I tell you. And they've I, lost uh, the captain, Jaden Lewis, yeah. who was uh, Williams. Jaden Williams, sorry. Jaden Williams, the uh, captain last year, he's gone away on scholarship and he was uh, certainly a stalwart at the back, but uh, I think Karaya and his uh, overall performance from minute one all the way till he left the pitch uh, could be a safe bet for man of the match. Yep, I, I have no problem with Karaya being man of the match. Luke Karaya, I think he's, he, done, he did enough and he, he scored that opening goal for Fatima to, to lead them to, to victory. But here comes presentation. This is a chance for Clement. Oh, he should have had the shot. But let's see what he's going to do now. He plays it out in, right into the path of boys. It's cleared away. Shin Hong. Looking to come in field with it. But he loses out. Good tackle again by Gooden. So we just about four minutes of the sixth play thus far. Ball played in field. Clement. Towards Fonset. He goes wide. That's too hard. Hit a little too straight and a little too firm. It goes out. It's going to be a goal kick. So overall, James, uh, good victory, you think, for Fatima? Yeah, I think they're going to be happy with it. Perhaps uh, maybe some thoughts about match fitness. I suspect we will get there as the season progresses. Presentation College. Frustrating into the evening. Not sure they were two goals lesser than uh, Fatima College. But it's at the offensive end. I think uh, that that's uh, something that you'll have to look at. Finding ways to be more effective when in position in the final third. Well, we see another substitution there for presentation. Fonset seems to be the man coming off. Well, they're making two subs. One is Fonset. Who is the other one? Well, I don't think it's Boyce. Boyce came on at, as a substitute at half time. So have they changed their mind because Fonset is still on the field. But here goes presentation. Rafway going down that right side. Twisted, turning with him. Can he get the cross in? In fact, it's a corner. So I think uh, so so well Rene has come on for Fonset, but I'm sure I was seeing that number of defeat still. Well, here is a right-sided corner. Not a bad one. The heads go up. Headed towards it. It's a goal! So, presentation. I've pulled one back. 
in the sixth minute of added on time. Don't think there's going to be enough time for them to get an equalizer. But who scored that one? It was a real pinball sort of goal. The ball was, the corner was excellent. It was put towards the far post, headed back across, and it went all over. Who was the one got the last touch? Let's have a look. Oh, it seemed to be an own goal. It seemed to have come off of Barrington and went into the back of the net. And that's it. In the final minute of added on time presentation, pulled one back to eventually lose the game by two goals to one. But the scoreline, a little better than two goals to nil. They've come back to 2-1 and they would not be happy with the defeat, but at least they've got something to work on. But at the end of the day, Fatima College have taken the NGC Super Cup here at the Hazley Crawford Stadium by two goals to one. The goals coming from Luke Karaya in the first half, a penalty in the second half by Matthew Barrington, and an own goal from Barrington made it two goals to one so there is the full time score victory for Fatima College here against presentation and there are the of officials making their way off but in the, while they do that let's have a look at the highlights so so there is the Smith making that run, going down the right side, looking around for some support. Here comes Karaya and places the ball neatly into the near post, beating, beating goalkeeper Lee to make it one goal to nil. So second half action got going and immediately there was a chance but what a good bit of defending by Gooden getting there before Jacob to put it outside on a corner. Then a shot coming from Coria, not a great one. You could see him looking to go to the far post and it went outside. Then there was a header from Hospitalis cleared off the line by Brathwaite. Boyce with the shot but it went to Clement. Out comes O'Brien. He had a wonderful game in goal for Fatima. And then that ball coming across to Bailey. Bailey had the shot. Referee Hines on spot. Called it a handball. Penalty. And Barrington did the duty for Fatima. Making it two goals to nil. And putting that penalty away from the keeper. In minute number 80. And then a corner. Header going, was it going outside? But it came off of Barrington. The deflection, it beat goalkeeper Hamill Smith. I thought it was going outside. It beat the goalkeeper Barring by Hamill, beat goalkeeper Hamill Smith to make it two goals to one. So that's the situation here. We're gonna go downstairs. Hans, he's got the man of the match with him.
these games are all Wednesday the 11th. Yep, mic check. One, two, one, two. One, two. Yeah. Yes, sir. We are here with Luke Karaya, man of the match. Congratulations, Luke. Here you are, man of the match today. Tell us what was going through your mind when you scored the first one. Well, obviously, I'm really happy to just score a goal, help my team get a victory. In a national stadium, it couldn't be any better. I mean, everyone dreams of these kinds of things. All right, well, what are your goals for the rest of the season? Well, our goal from the beginning of the season was to win the three trophies, and we've done one of them so far, so it's just to work through the rest of the season and continue to work hard. Well, congratulations. Go collect your trophy and celebrate with your teammates. We have James Saunders with our coaches. Coach Sean, you lost today's match, but it must be a relief at least getting on the score sheet before the end of 90. Definitely so. This definitely was a presentation college performance. It was a, a first game for the season. Um, the boys look slow, lethargic, um, no rhythm in the passing. You know, it, it was a terrible game. And uh, let's talk positive. Uh, what can you take away from today? Well, definitely we changed the system late in the game, probably too late on my behalf. And we started dominating position. We had a couple. But then, you know, Goal, which was very harsh, I think. Uh, so close and hold it. I, I don't know what you want the player to do from that distance, but um, being so, you know, um, we went on and we played the game. You know, um, all kudos goes to, to Fatima. You know, they played a good game, and um, we just have to go back, um, do some recovery. one, two, because because he, he might work him fine. One, thank you. All right, so I'm going to bring in uh, the winning coach, Hudson Charles. And, uh, well, it's familiar with winning positions. Finn, winning the league last year and uh, getting your first title in your first match today. How do you yeah, reach your performance? Um, I think um, it, was, it was good. I was satisfied with, with, with what I saw today. I know, I mean, it, I know we made a lot of mistakes today. And, it's, it's, you know, it's something that, that, that we will work on come next week. But today... I'm satisfied that, that, that we pulled through and, and won this cup. You scored two goals today, you won, um, but match fitness seems to be something that your team are still getting up to speed with. Is that something that you observed? Well, yes, you know, I mean, um, every day, you know, we've been working on our fitness, right? Um, you see evident today, you know, a lot of guys pull up with cramp, and although today was a hard day, you know, so um, we, we will be looking at all that, you know, I mean, and, and try and rectify it. Looking forward into the new season, which starts uh, next week. Uh, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, we need to. Well, our plan today, our plan today, our plan is to to, to retain our title. So starting with, with against St. Augustine, yes, we're looking for a victory. All right, coach, and I'm going to take away from your celebration. Thank you so much for chatting with us. Thank you. We are receiving the medals. Final score here at the Hazy Crawford Stadium. Fatima College 2, Presentation, Presentation College 1. The NGC Super Cup winners, Fatima College, this time around. Well, guys, quick thoughts on today's matchup. Well, it was an interesting one. It was a duster. Yeah, dusting all the dust of uh, last season, getting uh, the shiny wrapper of the new squad and having a look at what we can expect. Uh, both coaches expressed uh, some level of dissatisfaction in terms of mistakes, but I think that's, that's normal. That's uh, something that you would see on the first day of the season. I expect as the season progresses, these teams will get better. Yeah, well, guys, that's where we wrap it up here today at the Hazy Crawford Stadium. NGC Super Cup winners, Fatima College 2 to presentation colleges one join us next week wednesday for more action inside the secondary schools football league